Hello, family. I hope everyone's having a great week. I hope you're still doing the work of the Lord and um, being his servant, because being his servant is going to play a part in this video, um, doing the will of the Father, right? Jesus uh, has left us to do the Father's will, and that is, you know, to go preach the good news of the gospel and to encourage others in Christ. So as you know by the title of this video, Famine is Coming. That is uh, something that shouldn't have any fear in you as a believer. This video is not for you to go run out <laughs> to the store and spend hundreds of dollars to prepare uh, for what's coming. Um, so I'll get right to it. Um, about 10 days ago, I was in my kitchen and I was by the sink and I got to say, I had a very peaceful setting in my head and in my surroundings. The house was quiet, but just looking back on it, there was just nothing, no thoughts going through my head. I believe they say um, uh, a person can have up to 60,000 thoughts in a day. I wasn't really thinking at the moment. I was just in bliss, I guess you could say. And the Holy Spirit spoke. Now, I've never heard the Holy Spirit speak uh, during the day when you're active, moving around, making noise. I've heard the Lord's voice whisper in my ear <clears throat> while I slumbered on my bed, just like the book of Job says he does. Um... So when you hear the Holy Spirit, it's inside of you. Like you're hearing this voice coming from your head. It's not whispering in your ear like Jesus will do. So it's, you got to be like dead silence to hear this voice. And the Holy Spirit was firm and straight. And, and the Holy Spirit said, famine is coming. Now I'm in South Georgia so I'm assuming the Holy Spirit knows where I live. And God, Jesus, you know, they know where I live. So I'm assuming it's going to hit South Georgia as well. I don't know how big it is. <clears throat> According to the Bible, famine is pretty widespread. Um, according to the Bible, famine or death of starvation is the worst way to die. But here I am, I'm not worried. And people who are viewing this, you shouldn't be worried either. Like I said, this video is not about fear. It's just about not quenching the spirit. I'm not trying to, you know, keep this to myself and my wife, obviously. I'm not trying to quench the spirit. And uh, I believe the devil doesn't want this to go out either because <clears throat> my voice went out this week. So I got to get it out because there's uh, people I love on here that are all, you know, obviously servants of Christ and uh, brothers and sisters. So what's my message? Well, I'm kind of with you here. I, I got the message. Famine is coming. I'm trying to use some insight on when because I didn't get a date. So I best thing I can do is take two products that are recently purchased at Kroger. And I look at the date, and the expiration date would be May 31st, 2023, for this canned meat of man manwich. That's May 31st, 2023. Today is November 5th, 2021. So a year and a half. And this can of peaches is... July 2023. So both dates for fruit and canned meat are 2023 for this particular observation. Why is it? Why am I using this? Well, obviously, I can't put this video out. The Holy Spirit knows I'm putting this video out, and the famine happened after your food expires. <laughs> so the famine has to occur within 
the video I'm making and the food expiring. So that's a year and a half. So <clears throat> we also know groceries are already expensive enough as it is. So you're not going to go run out and buy a whole bunch of food because it'd be a hundred dollars extra on top of your grocery bill. That's already a hundred bucks every week or every two weeks or however you do it. So, and you know, you can't go to the store as a Christian and go just wipe everything off the shelf because just being greedy, greedy people don't inherit the kingdom of God. You can't, we share our food and we give to others, even our enemies. According to the Bible, we give to them as well. <clears throat> so I had to get the message out because it's been over 12, 14 days since the Holy Spirit told me this. And um, it's already, I've put this off two weeks and I was two weeks behind where you could have been prepping for this event to take place. And I would advise that you prep uh, more um for others as well, because you want to water them too, right? There's so many promises when you give to others in a time of need that God just, he doesn't change. His His word doesn't come back void. You'll bless others as well. You'll sustain yourself. So how do I know this? How do I know this was the Holy Spirit and it wasn't the devil? Well, I've already heard the devil talk. I should have made a video on it. He is not firm and direct as the Holy Spirit and, and uh, Jesus is. They are they are very manly in their speech. They just talk like a man. They're just to the point, right? <clears throat> there was a time when Jesus uh, spoke in my ear and he said, I have a gift for you, my son. That was the only time I heard Jesus' voice uh, where it sounded um, compassionate, you know. But the Holy Spirit was very direct and uh, it was in my head, you know. It was like a whisper in my head. But before it, the Holy Spirit spoke, he made sure there was no distractions around me and he made sure there was no thoughts going through my head. I mean, how many thoughts do we have? Even when we're doing nothing, this is crazy. I believe it's like 60,000 thoughts. I had no thoughts at the time in the, in the kitchen by myself and the Holy Spirit said, famine is coming. So, I know that sounds disheartening, and death and famine is very, very disheartening. But I also want to encourage you with Isaiah 65, says here, um, 65, 13, Therefore thus says the Lord God, Behold, my servants shall eat, but you shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink. But you shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but you shall be put to shame. Behold, my servants shall sing for gladness of heart, but you shall cry out for pain of heart, and you shall wail for breaking of spirit. So, You know, when I just read that, it just made me say so much that we believers of God go through so much pain on earth and suffering and ridicule and unbelief. <clears throat> Nothing really compared to what Isaiah and the rest of the prophets went, uh, went through and the servants of God. You know, they got uh, hit and spat and their beard pulled on and a mockery of but my servant shall not go, go hungry so I encourage you to continue to serve the Lord during this time continue to give during this time and uh, no God's void doesn't go void it doesn't come back void you will be okay during this setting um, you shall rejoice you shall be happy you're not thinking about the people who did not want to change their life They when the Lord knocked on their door They didn't answer. When the Lord called them, they didn't answer. They didn't say, hey, you know they're wrong. Go say something to them so their soul won't perish. Whatever the consequences was. Um, 
like I said, this is this, this video may be longer than what I thought, but I know what I heard. I got confirmation. What was my confirmation? Um, it was another YouTube person that loves the Lord. And uh, that same week, at 3.30 at night, I looked at my phone and her video popped up. And it was a, um, I guess, a live video where uh, you come on live. She can answer your prayers or, or answer your questions and pray with you live at the same time. And I never had seen that uh, come from her, I believe. And she said um, that uh, that we needed to store up food for three months, she said. <clears throat> um, she kept saying three months. And uh, I was like, well, I'm glad someone talked about this because I really didn't plan on getting this out. And then I saw more symbolism. I started asking God, hey, is this coming? And more symbolism started showing up. The next day, I was watching television, and one of the cargo ships that had flipped over, over in California, the cargo ship container busted open on the rocks, and what they found on the shore were refrigerators. They found refrigerators that were in the con cargo containers. So another symbolism from God, yes, I confirm this, that I'm bringing this. I'm going to bring it. How many months? I don't know. This young lady uh, seemed to ha have the, the number three months with this. When? I don't know. There's, there's, the timing is not right. Uh, <clears throat> all I can speculate is from here on, or use some insight. I'd rather use, I'd rather the Lord give me insight. I'd rather say wisdom. Give me wisdom. I embrace you in this matter because it's important that uh, we, we um, can share the love of you even if we're giving uh, this food out to strangers an opportunity to, sh to share about Christ. So I gave you the dates with this. It's a year and a half, and this is a fairly bought peach can. I say within a, mo a month, maybe less. So I'm using that date off a fairly recent purchase. There's some stuff in my cupboard that already expired, like rice aroni and stuff. I, I would love to take a box of rice out, but, you know, I bought that, you know, maybe even a year ago. So... <clears throat> It's coming. Um, you probably already know it's coming if you watch the news, uh, talk about cargo ships, but I don't know if they talk about food being on cargo ships. So, But uh, it's important because the Holy Spirit said it. The Holy Spirit. I'm not an economic person. I don't, uh, I'm don't. not following really the truck drivers and their uh, strike or their sh uh, shortages. I've heard about it, but I don't know how bad it is. <clears throat> so, but I do know the Holy Spirit voice, and I do know when Jesus says, you know, my sheep hear my voice, and it is a soft voice. It makes you think, did I hear what I think I just heard? Because it's in you. It's the Holy Spirit's in you, and it speaks out of your mind, and you're like, you're trying to figure, man, did I just hear that? <clears throat> so that's why you test the spirits. Well, You'd have to test my spirit then. What would I have to test other than God show me some symbolism? Show me, you know, is this so? <clears throat> um, so it's not to go out and uh, go clear the shelves uh, because that, you know, if, if you have any fear from this video, then you know you're, in, you're staring in the wrong direction if you have fear. There's nothing to fear. I'm, I'm all smiles here. There's nothing to fear. You know, <clears throat> tell somebody every day Jesus loves them or Jesus saves and continue to, uh, to do what God wants us to do, you know, to, to live a life pleasing to the Lord. And uh, know that this is coming within a year and a half. I would love to give more insight on it. I guess the best thing I can say is, you know, they say, um, you know, Farmer's Almanac and, and uh, uh uh, one preacher I uh, listened to said this may be the worst winter we've had in a long time. It may be a really bad winter. So with a bad winter, I'm just using insight here, comes icy roads, comes truck driver shortages on icy roads that can't get the food product from the farms to the grocery stores. Okay, that's just using maybe a little common sense and, and whatnot. So what am I saying? It's, it's going to start January 1st? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that uh, the Holy Spirit said famine is coming. 
When is it? The best thing I know, Holy Spirit knows I'm making a video. This expires in a year and a half. It's going to fall within a year and a half. Um, how much should you have? I have confirmation from a little girl. That's uh, her channel is called Mouth of Babes. And uh, or I should call her a young lady. It's not, she's not little. Um, she said, have enough food for three months. So if you can do that, if you can know how to um, become a little micro farmer on your land, do that. Uh, if you know how to plow, rototiller, uh, plant seeds, maybe you should buy seeds right now. Maybe this is a good time to store up on seeds, tomatoes, corns, bell peppers, things of that nature. But I know what the Holy Spirit said, and, and um, I'm not going to quench this um, speaking because obviously the Holy Spirit knows I have a YouTube channel. The Holy Spirit knows the people um, I'm going to talk to outside of my house and tell them. And um, so um, don't be fearful, but um, I guess be prudent is what Proverbs says. But it says, you know, a prudent man sees the day of um, trouble coming and hides himself. So I'm not sure if I should use that, but if you want to be prudent in this matter, then um, I guess every time you go out, spend an extra, you know, $10, $15 on something that will last two years and put it in a cupboard, put it in a basement. And um, if it, it never does come, then I'm going to ask God, you know, I'm going to ask, um, ask Jesus, you know, what, what's up with that? <laughs> I'm not going to question the Holy Spirit. Don't question the Holy Spirit because uh, there's, you know, there's there's one thing he won't forgive. I said, if you blaspheme the Holy Spirit. So <laughs> even Jesus says, if you question, if you question me, I'll forgive you. I'll forgive you. But it's best not to question it at all. It's, it's not. <clears throat> That's why we got to tame our tongues. And um, a man that can um, control his spirit is... Uh, better than a man who can take down a city that's well, pretty big so um that's the message guys uh, famine's coming if you got unbelievers in your family that uh you know are idle all year all day or all month and they do nothing for the lord and you know they're essentially cowards I guess you could say, store up some food for them. Maybe they'll come to Christ when uh, you share that, that love uh, for others through food. But uh, that's the message. God bless. And uh, if you've got any questions, uh, I'll ask it. But that's all the Holy Spirit said was uh, famine is coming. So, you know, just slowly preparing for that day of arrival. God bless.